Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see what's in my handbag. Yes, that's kind of a weird topic, I know, but I think what people carry around in their purse tells you a lot about the people, and it's kind of interesting to see what kind of makeup they wear and really what their life is all about, because for me, I pretty much carry my life around with me in my purse. I love large purses, and this is actually a purse that I was gifted, and I absolutely love it. In fact, about a year and a half ago, I got another purse from the same maker. Here it is, and I wore this pretty much every day for more than a year, and I wear my purses hard, but it stayed in fabulous condition. This is the Katie Black Gold Purse in the 14, and I've absolutely loved it. And this is the red one that I replaced it with this year, and I decided to go something a little wild in terms of color because I have a lot of black purses, but I absolutely love this, and I'll put a link below to this purse. And again, it's the KD 14 inch, the largest uh, size that they have. It is in beautiful red leather. It's absolutely very fine quality. It is made in Italy. And it actually comes with a cute little lock, a little gold lock on it, but I keep that in my purse along with the shoulder strap that comes in it because this can become a shoulder strap purse or a crossbody bag. Absolutely love this purse. So let me go ahead and get started and I'll show you what I've been carrying in it. So I basically just carry it like this and I think it looks very stylish. And structured purses are really, really in and so I've been absolutely loving this. This is a classic style. In fact, it almost exactly matches a very classic, very high-end bag that's out there. It does not have any logos of the other company and so they're not infringing in that way but I absolutely love the style of this purse. It's classic, it's been around for years, and this is such a good quality bag that you'll have it in your closet for years. So let me go ahead and get started and I'll show you what's in the purse. There is what it looks like on the inside and I'll start showing you what I keep in there. First, this is actually something that I was gifted. This is the Grand Lash MD and I'm taking this to work to share with my sister because I wanted her to see it because I've been using it for about a month and I really like what it's done to my eyelashes. It really makes them look longer and better. And when we get a little more grown up, sometimes our eyelashes get kind of skimpy. I know mine did. And I've used other lash lengtheners and they're good. And this one is good as well. It's very highly rated on Amazon and I'll put the link below. And I always carry a toothbrush with me and it's got a little protective cap on it. I like to brush my teeth at lunch. Another thing that I carry is my Juva Lips, and I usually remember to do this in the morning, and then sometimes I do it at lunch too, that's how it looks, and I don't like to get lip fillers, in fact I only got them once and my husband hated them, never again, so I do use this to keep my lips a little bit plumper than normal. I wouldn't say it makes me look like I have filled lips, which actually I don't think is a good look anyway, but it does make my lips look like they exist, which is an improvement for me. The next thing I keep in my purse is this little Louis Vuitton wallet, and I love this wallet, and I'll put a link below. It is very expensive, and so, you know, I don't know that I would recommend this to most people, and please don't give me grief because I went through a little Louis Vuitton phase, and I bought a bunch of purse goods. Anyway, I keep yes. my money in there, and I think it's always important to keep your bills nice and straight. Susie Orman said that once, and I think it's true. Shows that we care about our money. And then I have all my little credit cards in there. Actually, not credit cards. I only have a debit card. I've got my driver's license and my little bank cards, my debit card. Then I have my cell phone. Everybody has their cell phone. Then I have a little bundle here that I keep bundled. It has my pin. It has my company's name on my pin. Then I have a little coach zippered pouch in this bundle. And I keep my receipts for work and just for personal in that little pouch. Then I have my checkbook that is in that little bundle. And then I have my makeup brushes. These are IT Cosmetics makeup brushes and I bought these because once in a while I'm in Ulta and I like to try the samples. So I've got this. Then I have this which is a little Louis Vuitton mini wallet and I love this thing. I think it's called a mini wallet. I'm not sure. I'll put the link below. But I keep my gift cards in here and my Starbucks card, which I really love, is right there. And then I have other restaurant gift cards, movie cards, that kind of thing. Then I have my little Louis Vuitton makeup bag here. And here is what it looks like on the inside. 
And again, I don't know that this was a wonderful purchase. It was kind of a phase that I went through. I probably would not purchase it again because you know you can get makeup all over this and it's rather expensive. And I'll show you the makeup that I keep in there. I have my Stila Lash Extreme Mascara, which I really love. I have it on now as usual. I keep my Chanel blush. And I love this blush because it actually comes with a brush, which is nice. And it is a very nice natural color. I have it on right now. It is called Elegance, and I'll put the link below. Then I have my CoverGirl powder, my pressed powder, and it is a Smoothers, and there it is. <laughs> you can see I use that a lot. Then I have my favorite lipstick ever. In fact, I just reordered this. It is pricey, it is $32, but it is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and here's how it looks. And as you can tell, I really need the next one coming, and it is what I have on now. Looks like that. And then I always carry a little eyeshadow palette with me. This is the Smashbox Full Exposure Eyeshadow Palette. You can tell it's kind of grimy. And so that's how it looks. And there are the colors inside. Absolutely love this. This is not what I put on them in the morning, but it's very similar to the colors I wear. Very natural, nice colors, a little bit of shimmer there on the lights. And so I take it with me in case I need to touch up. Well, that's a look at what I keep in my purse. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing. I am 50 plus, shall we say, the channel is called 50 Plus Beauty. And the whole idea behind this channel is to take what we learned in our first half, to take all that great information and use it to make a fabulous second half. And if you're interested in that too, and you're interested in becoming part of a community of women, that that's what we do, then please subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that will just notify you of my future videos. Okay. okay. I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and today is no exception. I'll be drawing a card from these Louise Hay Power Thoughts cards, and I've been taking out duplicates, so we're winding down a little bit. Here we go. I prosper wherever I turn. I prosper wherever I turn. I love that. I now see opportunities for abundance everywhere. I am blessed and prospered. I am blessed and prospered. This is a wonderful card and it reminds us that affirmations are very, very positive and this is a great one. I prosper wherever I turn. I prosper wherever I turn. And that can be prospering financially, prospering in friendships, prospering in your marriage relationship. All of us are prosperous in very many different ways. So friends, just for today, let's remember that our words and thoughts are powerful and what we think about tends to come about. So all through the day today, let's remind ourselves that I prosper wherever I turn. I prosper wherever I turn. When we switch our mind to the positive, not only do we have a good day, we can have a fabulous second half. Take care. See you next time.